This is where experts on offshore drilling and resource development gathered to find new ideas and new technology. Companies that provide that technology, as well as oil production services, were also here, ready to show what they have and what they can do. Canrig, a company based in Magnolia, Texas, had several tons of drilling equipment on hand. Canrig's vice president of marketing, Gregory Kostiuk, said communicating with visitors is a primary challenge. There are people here from every corner of the globe. And our three primary languages that we, that we run into here um, are Russian, uh, Chinese, and Spanish. To answer that challenge, Canrig had personnel on hand who could speak Russian, uh, Ukrainian, Chinese, French, Spanish, and Arabic. Foreign participants, like their North American counterparts, are looking for every possible piece of equipment that can improve their efficiency and the quality of the oil they produce. Steve Dale of the Brookfield Company came to show off his viscometers. They measure the viscosity or thickness of oil as it comes out of the ground. We measure the viscosity of crude oil real time because just a tenth of a percent variation in viscosity can mean millions of dollars a year in uh, extra money for the oil company. With so many competing booths in the exhibit hall, some companies resorted to enticements outside the oil industry. Others offered video displays to demonstrate what they can do. One such company is U.S. Underwater Services of Burleson, Texas. It sends divers around the world to make underwater repairs on oil rigs. Demand for these services has been especially high in the Gulf of Mexico following Hurricanes Katrina and Rita nearly two years ago. Company president Michael Aranakis says some platforms are still in need of repair. Well, the hurricane, when it came through, it damaged a lot of uh, platform structures, causing uh, bending of the braces. And what we've done is be able to go in underwater at a variety of depths, re-engineer a repair and put the rig back to a permanent status. Aranaki says U.S. Underwater Services has a method of isolating sections of an underwater structure to allow divers to weld deep underwater on site. It allows us to install a habitat over the affected area where we seal it into that area. We first pump air into it to diffuse the water and get all the water out. Then we send in heated argon or, or uh, helium down and what this does is that it preps the steel, heats the, mail, the steel to about 120 degrees, and then we effectively weld it through a series of boots that are installed on it. You put a welding rod in, actually you can weld it up right there. By doing such work on site, companies avoid the expense of dismantling rigs and bringing them ashore for repairs. Experts say that by the year 2030, the world will consume 50% more oil than it's consuming today. That increasing demand fuels the growth of energy technology and services companies and keeps people coming back to the Offshore Technology Conference every year. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.